Hello everybody, uh, we're going to work on cable tray profiles today. So you might get a cable tray fitting like this with a different type of uh, cross section here and a different cross section on your run. So we're going to go and look at how you can get around this little issue. So first thing we want to do, we want to go and open up, we want to open up a family because we can't touch the uh, systems family, but we can play around with the cable tray families. The cable tray fittings. So here's our fittings, and for this one, I'm going to just use a, um, a horizontal bin here because uh, we don't have any ladders because the ladders are going to be in the system fine. But we do need the horizontals, so I want to open this horizontal up. And there's our family. Let's put this in the wireframe and in fine view. So there's our cable tray ladder horizontal bin. So we're going to take this guy here and we're going to do some tweaking. So right here, these are, as you can see, these are sweeps and these are pro actually profiles. So if I go over to my system browser and I expand the families and there's our profiles. So we've got three profiles loaded in here. I know what this one is, and we can always look at them and tell what they are. But I'm going to just open this guy, and I'm going to edit it. So there's our profile. Now, this thing we want to use here, we want to keep all of these. Let me see what we got here. So we've got three parameters already in here. And they locked in pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this. Now, you can do two things. You can edit these guys. Now, what I did, I'm going to show you what I did. I just took that thing and did it in AutoCAD. I'm going to go and uh, import CAD. And I did a little profile in AutoCAD somewhere here. Really? Oh, it's on my flash drive, I hope. There it is. And I'm going to open that up. And there it is. So really, all I really care about is this top portion. That's why I did just that. So I'm going to unpin this guy. And I'm going to just drag this over here. So really all I want is this, so I'm going to just go in here and I'm going to just pick these lines out. Create line. And I'm going to do pick line command. Just pick. And that's it. Now I don't need this anymore. Okay, sorry. I'll just move this over here now. I'm going to set it right there. Why is that doing that? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why. So let's. There it is. I want to get rid of the AutoCAD stuff in this line here. So now we've got our hot part. So what I want to do, I want to make this, uh, I'm going to keep these uh, parameters in place here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean this up because it's got to be one, can't have any lines doubled or nothing. It's got to be one continuous line. So let's go with the Split this here. I'll split this here. I'll delete. And then I'll delete. So hopefully that's it for that. Now for the bottom. Okay, one thing we need to do here, we need to fix this. 
you want to bring this down here like so and then line and lock that it's already locked great so now let's just go over here and remove this line here now this is where you gotta be very careful because um, you can't have any lines overlapping or they gotta really be clean so like here that's gotta fix that that would not allow me to use this if I didn't fix that make sure we don't have no double lines here nope so we can undo that back now this side, I'm going to just delete this out. And then I'm going to mirror this over like so. <clears throat> okay. So now what I want to do, I want to do some flexing to make sure everything works okay. Let's make this nine. It's good. I'm going to bring that back to six. And this is probably going to flex. Let's flex that one. Let's make this six. So everything's flexing good and everything should be okay here. Now, what I want to do is, I want to tile one of this. And then I want to load this back into the, to this family. And there you go. So there's our new profile. Let's look at this in shaded view. Now, what we have here is the thickness that we can control that. Because as you know, in our picture, that width wasn't the same. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go back into my wireframe and I think we need to open up a project. Let's see. Yes, now. Let's go open up a project. And we want to do a system project. So now, once we're here, I'm going to window tile this again. And I'm going to just place some cable tray here. I'm going to go to my power level, though, because it probably won't show up in that level. Let's go to power. And let's go to my family. Let's load this guy in. Yeah, we're going to overwrite the existing version because it's already one in here, as you know. So what we can do now, let's place some cable tray, some ladder. And let's just run it that way and that way. And let's go with find view. And there's our cable tray we just created with the new rungs and everything. So 
what I do here now, I'm creating a template. I'm going to delete these out. And I'll go into my 3D view. Click Find. Now, as you can see, that the rung, the side rails are too thick, but we can easily control those right over here. So let's make the side rail thickness, let's make this, uh, I say about, that's probably about a six thick. Nah, let's give it about, let's say 330 seconds of an inch. And there you go. Now, next thing we want to do, we want to change our, our rungs profile. So I'm going to just leave it there, and then we can rename that family to whatever we want. And then we've got all this power here. We can change the width. We've got connectors here. So I'm going to draw a cable tray here. OK. Uh, we can do uh, different angles. So this is a 90. We can make that a 45. We can do the bends just here. So there's our 12 inch width, a 12 inch width. So let's make that down to a six. Okay, so that's basically how you would do that. So I'm gonna push all that back. If I can. Come on, Rivet. Ah. So there's our new family. I'm going to delete that out and delete that out. And then again, I'll change my thickness here. Thickness is going to be, I'm not sure what the thickness is, but it's not going to be that thick as we saw in that picture. So let's go back and look at that image again. Yeah, that's quite thin. Actually, I would say a sixteenth of an inch to a three thirty seconds, basically. So let's go and say here, uh, three thirty seconds. Click apply. So there you go. Now. Let's go back and let's fix these rungs. And these rungs are going to be like this, this here. Okay, so let's go back and what's the dimensions? Kind of hard to see. Uh, it looks like 1.15 and 1.8, I don't know. So let's go back into that family again. Uh, Tower of these guys. Just close him down. Uh, I'm going to say no for now. Probably should have said yes, but now let's go and back into this family here. And now we've got more profiles, so we go look at wireframe here. And then we've got these rungs. And these are also sweeps. So I'm going to guess this is, I don't think that's it. It's probably number three. So let's cancel that one out. Wait a minute, that might be it. Well, let's try it out anyway and let's see what happens. So let's edit this. No, I'm gonna try the other one. Let's see what this is. This. That, yeah, that's probably it. <clears throat> so let's go and fix this guy up. So here, let's just go in here and make these, 
these are rounded off here. So let's go and do this. Sorry. Let's knock this out. Let's bring a line here. Create a line here. I like the mirror thing. Let's make this about an inch. Oh uh, no, it's not that big. Let's make this one quarter. And then let's just delete that. I should have made a profile for this as well, but I'm just rushing through this, folks. Cole and Chris, this is something I'm kind of want to do for our uh, templates. We can't get the system found, but we can make them look close. Uh, now, here I want to go and create a line by here. Should let me do it there, would it? Yes. Uh, look too small. Anybody know how to do a filler? Then stand, let me know. <laughs> Great line. Filler arc. Oh, there we go. Radius. Let's say point two five. I guess. Okay, let's do the same over here. Now, for below, I don't remember what did that look like. Let's see what that looks like. Same thing below, I think, but maybe smaller. <laughs> Let's do one down here. Let's go create fill an arc. Okay. No, we want to do this a little smaller. Sorry. You just love this. Do it arc. We want a radius. Let's make this one eighth inch if we can. It's not too small. Yeah, we got it. Good. Now we want to just offset this guy probably a sixteenth of an inch to match up everything here. And remember, um, it's got to be closed. Oh. Okay, let's get this guy out of here. I'm not really caring if it flexes or not because this is just the wrong and it's probably not going to do anything special. Maybe, maybe it will, but we can always go back and fix that later. So we'll close that. Man, I wish this had the uh, command they have in uh, Inventor where you could go select everything and do vertices and it connects everything. Now we've got to make sure everything's connected here. Otherwise it won't work. No double lines or nothing overlapping. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to load this into our family. And this is ladder three. So I'm going to load that in the project. And here, 
Beautiful. And there you go, guys. So there's our rungs now. So our rungs are in. And that's the type of rung we want. Now I'm going to throw this back into our project. There it is. Great. So there it is. That's about as close as we can get it, folks. Uh, but we got control since we used uh, the family. We basically modified the cable tray fitting family. Now, uh, once we get that done, we can do a save as, or we can duplicate this guy here. We can edit this type and continue on, but we need to fix all the other families. I'm working on one, but I just want to give you guys an idea how to do this. And basically, um, just, you know, just making dummy families from generic models, they won't work, these will work. See, I can even go in here and I can change my wrong spacing. Let's say we want six. Well, six one. Uh, let's see, wrong spacing, six inches. So let's go with uh, three. Hmm. Let's change. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's here. So let's go and change our radius bend. Let's make this a 30 here. Okay, then now the rungs have changed. Our spacing will change. So we rung space is three. Hmm. Okay, well we gotta work on rung width is twelve. Rung width is one, rung spacing height is four. Let's see, let's change this to twenty-four. Okay, but that's it, guys. So that's how you basically go in and make a cable tray fitting for what we've been doing. Instead of that, do these, do follow this method, and then, you know, go back into this family. And I would rename this family. Uh, I'm going to do file, save as family, and I'm going to put him on the desktop because we don't want to mess up the... Um, the good families here. Uh, let's go with sample test test horizontal. And I'm gonna save it there. I'm gonna go back into my project where I've got all this control and I'm gonna load this in. There it is. Now we can do connectors here. So we got a connector here, draw a cable tray. And that's how it's gonna work. So hey folks, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is a special video for two good mates of mine, guys I'm working with, show how to do this. So hey y'all, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time uh, for more rivet training and uh, Inventor Navis works. So that's how we do this, guys. So I'm going to go back and make this realistic. And there's our cable tray. Very close. This has more. You can operate this more. Those things you guys been making. Yeah, well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, not, I'm just getting around to showing you this. But this is what you need to do. You want something like this. I want to be able to control this thing right here. Uh, I want to be able to turn my rung height. I want to be able to control my rung spacing. Some, I got an issue there. I don't know why. The number of rungs, rung space, rung width.
Hmm. Tray height, wrong width, wrong space. Something's wrong here. We're going to have to fix that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one and bye.